Just as we spend more than any nation in the developed world on health care, Americans spend over $15 billion a year on bottled water. Now, bottled water may be expensive, and plastic bottles may be bad for our general planetary health, but this is America, and we have a private market. And if we allow companies to sell water and you want to buy it, that's your right. But we still need public tap water. Millions of Americans can't afford bottled water. Others just prefer tap. And pretty much all of us, when we brush our teeth or drink from a water fountain or order a glass of water at a restaurant, are relying on good old-fashioned public water. In other words, for reasons of public health and equity and just having a fallback option in case the store runs out of Poland Springs, it's important we have tap water and that choice. Healthcare reform is really no different. Millions of Americans have private health insurance that they're pretty happy with. They like their doctor, they have reasonable co-pays, and prescription drugs are fairly affordable too. But millions of Americans have no health care at all. Millions more are fed up with rising deductibles, no coverage for preventative care, exclusions for pre-existing conditions, and other deep flaws in the private insurance system. And the American thing to do is make sure they have another option, a choice. Private markets flourish with choice. Forcing Detroit to compete long time ago would have saved the American auto industry. And forcing competition now is the only hope for improving our health care system, including private insurance. Everyone needs health care, just like everyone needs water. As a national community, we have a responsibility to guarantee affordable, quality health care for everyone, along with safe drinking water, food, shelter, and the essentials of life on which we all rely. We need to provide these things for those who don't have them. For those who do have health insurance, an alternative backup option is still a good idea. After all, 24% of bottled water is actually just filtered tap water. Public systems inherently trickle into and shape the private market. So if we want the private options to be better, we'd be wise to invest in a public option too. This is Sally Cohn for Grit TV. Thanks, Sally. That's all we have time for today. You'll find everything you've seen on this show at our website, grittv.org. If you haven't been there yet, come visit. There's a place to comment on every story. And while you're there, join our mailing list so we can stay in touch. You can also subscribe to our video and audio podcasts. And we have a Twitter feed. Just follow Grit TV on Twitter. And please support this program. We're broadcasting commercial free across the United States on Free Speech TV, Dish Network Channel 9415, and we can only do it thanks to you. You can ask for us on your cable or your public television station. Thanks for watching.